welcome to another episode of Toka Moments. My name is Toka Makinwa. I'm literally in my jammies, guys. I was about to go to bed and then I thought to myself, why don't you just shoot a vlog? It's been a long time since we've done this. My life just became so busy and I feel really bad because a lot of you guys got to know about me via the vlog. Shout out to our day ones. Those people who were with us from how to get married, Nigeria style, you know, how to kiss properly, all those crazy and hilarious videos that we've done in the past. And, um, I'm still the same old girl. The thrill that I get from literally just speaking into the camera and knowing that you guys out there uh, are going to watch this just makes me feel really close to you. And I like how it's very laid back and it's just me in my room, just sort of chilling and inviting you to my world because beyond the glitz and the glam, it's still this crazy ass girl who likes to turn up and who likes to say what's on her mind. So 2018, I would definitely do better. Uh, it's going to be a very interesting episode because it's time for that very popular thing that people do every single year. When it's basically like towards the end of each year. New year, new me. Rules for the new year. How I'm going to live my life in 2018. Those I'm going to cut up in 2018. Things to do in 2018. Things not to do in 2018. I'm sick and tired of this new year, new me bullshit. Everyone just makes all these goddamn rules that nobody lives by because you see them in March and their old ways are still with them. And you wonder why they gave you this long speech of new year, new me. So this is what I'm going to be doing. How to live your best life. Number one, being everybody's business. Forget all those people that try to say things like mind your business. Why should we mind our business? Hello. I mean, wake up every day and just be concerned about why the next person is getting ahead. Like, why is she blessed? Does she have two heads? You know, concern yourself with what the person is doing. Don't work on your goals. Just keep looking at them. Like, all those people that all of a sudden say things like drink water, focus on your own grass. Shut up. Why should we mind our business? It's so much fun in minding other people's business, okay? And you have to know everything. You have to be at the top of the hottest stories. In 2018, you cannot carry last. Don't mind all those self-righteous people who say things like, it's a year to mind your business, focus on your lane. Who focus on your lane hip? Who has ever gotten ahead by focusing on their lane? How will you get ahead if you don't know their business? You have to know who is sleeping with who. You have to know whose wife is cheating on who. You have to know whose boyfriend has three girlfriends. You cannot carry last in 2018. Your nose has to be in everybody's business. Eh? You cannot mind your business. Ah, what's the fun in minding your business in 2018? Please. This is the year to be in everyone's business. If they don't like it, let them hog a transformer. Let them go and die. Mind everybody's business but yours. You have to be a hitter. You know, 2018 is the year to be a hater. Hate because it's just fun to hate. Why shouldn't I hate you? Like, why should I like you at the end of the day? Why? Everybody around you, you must have something to say about them. Like, you must really not like them because why are you going to like everyone? Are you some circus freak? Number three, have no goals. Why should you have goals? Goals are boring. Like, who wakes up in the morning living their lives by rules? Ugh, so depressing. All those people with by first quarter, I must have done this. Second quarter, who is chasing you exactly? Who cares if you do it and if you don't? Why are you wasting your time on those goals that would never come to pass anyways? Every small thing, I'm working on my goals. Oh, coming soon, almost landed. I beg, shut up. Who cares about what is coming soon? Please, please don't come and tension all of us here. If you're tired, sleep. Don't feel like getting out of bed. Roll over and sleep. If you don't feel like going to work, text your boss and tell them to fuck off. This is your life. You live your life the way you want to live it. At the end of the day, being a loser is much more fun than being someone who is trying to win. Those who don't have plans end up finding themselves in beautiful places and those who have plans sometimes end up getting stuck because life is too short. If you need 365 days for you to change who you are, then clearly you are not serious. All these tips I've shared with you, you would have a wonderful 2018. You would always be at the top. You would always be happy. You would always have the right people around you. Oh my God, positivity. That's how to stay positive. Yes. Don't follow those people that are telling you New Year resolution, New Year, New Me, calling off all these people. Please, who cares? No one does. Thank you guys for watching.